My name is Anna Estvasaturian uh, Turcot. Um, my accomplishments, I'm a mother of two. Uh, I, uh, I'm a graduate of University of Maine School of Law. Um, I wrote a book. Uh, the book is called Nowhere, um, A Story of Exile, and uh, it's based on my diaries um, that I kept uh, as a refugee from Baku, Azerbaijan. My childhood was, I mean, beautiful up until I was 10. Um, pretty sheltered, you know, beach, you know, beach uh, trips every uh, weekend, uh, fun, family. Um, and then in 88, things changed drastically. Initially, it was demonstrations um, that you know, to a child who's 10 years old, confusing and scary. And then uh, it escalated to, you know, breaking in to homes um, sporadically. You know, you never knew when it was coming, so we would, you know, huddle in the dark and wait it out. Um, the uh, most um, memorable thing for me was having my father uh, sit in the dark with knives and waiting it out and saying, I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to protect you. And, and um, so that was, that was hard. And another thing I remember, you know, hiding in school when the demonstration would go by. Just uh, fear of your classmates, fear of what, what, um, what's going on. A lot of hushed conversations in, in December of 88, Armenia suffered a major earthquake and Hundreds of thousands of people were affected, you know, tens of thousands were killed and we just sat in front of the TV and cried and, and then, uh, you know, on top of it you have Azuri sending congratulatory cards, uh, you know, congratulations Armenians are dead, to Armenians of Baku, uh, to my parents and friends and families and that was disturbing because yeah there was violence on the street but you don't expect it to come to you uh, so that was kind of that's when things started escalating of course I mean that's that escalated it um, you know how dare how dare you want self-determination and then taking toward the people of Artsakh um, on the Armenians of Baku and Sumgait and Kirvabad. So, uh, and as Baku Armenians, we were in the middle. Well, initially I wrote the book for my children because I understood that, um, you know, in America things just kind of blend in and life goes on and people forget their roots and that was important to me when I started writing at 14 uh, for my children and for my family and uh, but my parents persuaded me that this story wasn't you know, yes it was written for a purpose but it's also a historic piece and it needs to be printed and it needs to be read not just by Armenians uh, but by Americans who are not Armenians.